Welcome back to 3D Printing News, a place we talk all things 3D. Our first story, researchers at the University of Tokyo have created a flexible robotic neck with 3D printed vertebrae, and it looks like something straight out of a video game. Cleverly named Robostrich? Robot? Robot Ostrich? Rob? Rob Ostrich. Robotics engineers are looking at nature for inspiration in creating their automatons in hopes of creating robots with more flexibility and utility. Or maybe they just wanted a really cute pet, like that robot dog everyone wanted that one Christmas. And if you thought 3D printed animals were wild, buckle up. How about 3D printed human parts? This one might actually be a great step for science as medical engineers at the Houston Methodist Research Institute have developed an implant designed to encourage growth and protection in insulin producing cells that are targeted by type one diabetes. The implant is called, no, I'm, I'm not even gonna try that. Okay, we're going with the abbreviation. Niche has been tested in diabetic rats showing major improvements, including significant drops in blood glucose levels within 10 days. 3D printing isn't always about looking toward the future. One guy is actually using a printer to recreate relics of the past. Micro G, a Buenos Aires based 3D printer, has been creating miniature versions of historical audio equipment keyboards, synthesizers, and organs, down to fine detail. Not only are the builds highly detailed, they also feature movable switches and dials. These things are super cool, and we are one step closer to my dad approving of all the money I'm spending on printing. And the medical breakthroughs don't stop there as another implant, this one for spinal reconstruction, has had multiple successful surgeries in the US. Designed by US company Curativa has been approved by the FDA. The implant is using a peak filament designed by German company Avonik as its biomaterial. You know, I've been standing here for a bit. Maybe I could use an implant to help me, help me keep standing straight up here for all you guys. That's all the time we have. Back to you, Bob.